Hello and a very warm welcome to yet another episode of the We Talk Talent series. Those who have been following us know that the We Talk Talent series is a special initiative by the Economic Times HR World to unveil the latest trends happening in the human capital resource management space. And I'm very delighted to welcome today's guest with us, Ms. Veena Joji, CHRO InfoStretch. In her role at InfoStretch, she is responsible for evolving and fine-tuning HR and organizational structures with companies' growth. As a firm believer in the importance of culture for a company's success, Veena is dedicated to developing high-performance teams that help InfoStretch compete and win globally. She leads InfoStretch's HR operation globally and partners with leaderships to shape strategies that help ensure that everyone at InfoStretch has the skills and resources and drive to excel in company and profession. As a head of its people team, she is responsible for connecting and developing and caring for companies' ever-expanding workforce in the face of extreme social and business transformation. She oversees many functions that help employees do their best work, including talent development, employee relations, business partnership, benefits, and compensation. Welcome, Veena. Thank you for having me, Priya. So without any further ado, I would straight jump into my first question and ask you if you can share a brief overview of the disruption and transformation taking place in the industry since we have been witnessing how the times has been changing in past few years. So if you can share an overview of that with us. Yeah, thank you for that question, Priya, because it's really apt in today's times. Um, as, a, as a digital services organization, uh, Apex on InfoStretch, the two factors that influence the seismic shift were our customers as well as our people. Uh, our, our customers were not just focused on using technology, but also on how they drive innovation uh, about their organization change and new cultural behaviors to improve efficiency. So uh, you can imagine when it comes to large organizations, even 1% of productivity gains can actually impact a company's bottom line by millions. So. Uh, the the digital revolution touched nearly every aspect of what we do and how we do it. So from monitoring our health through uh, wristbands that track your heart rates to sleep patterns, uh, to communication through electronic media, to consumer interactions such as online banking or online stores with same day delivery. You can imagine all aspects of uh, touch points went through a transformation during this period. And when I look at our people, what caused this disruption was the opportunity and time to reflect, rethink their potential and ensure that they are positioning themselves towards the future. So the change in power and balance where, where there were shifts in value happening in the industry between uh, the companies as well as within the company, between customers and of course our ecosystems. All of this, I think, came together to cause this disruption and transformation in the industry. Yeah, I totally agree with your point that you mentioned that it has given us a lot of time to introspect and think what our real potential is. Yes. So with that, I would like to ask my second question. How do you redefine employer brands to, to attract hybrid talent in the virtual context since the time has changed so much? So our company has actually grown from being about 1,000 or a little over 1,000 plus in the beginning of 2021 to currently as we speak, we are 6,000 people. So you can imagine the tremendous growth that as an organization we have had, both organic as well as inorganic. So the impact on our people and talent considering us as a potential employer has been also huge. And the only way we could get this right, and we are still in the process of getting it right, is by having a clear purpose defined. Uh, we need to clearly focus on what we think are our three most important pillars, which is engineering, 
experience and data. All these three pillars, as these are really important foundation blocks for digital transformation. So being clear of our purpose was important for both our people and the talent that is considering us. They need to know what are we in this business for, right? So that's one of the most important aspect. Then, of course, investing in building a brand that stands for the right culture as a growing organization, as new organizations or new entities come together, it was important for us to build a culture of listening and empowerment. Uh, and of course, have benefits that are meaningful. In today's world, benefits have to be meaningful and have to be recognized by our people. So we constantly look at improving on what we give our people. And then, of course, uh, as we are growing, it is also relying on our people, using on our people and our associates to be our influencers in the larger market. And then last but not the least, staying connected deliberately in a virtual environment. So pretty much this is how we invested in building our employer value proposition and our employee value proposition so that we attract and retain talent in this, in this virtual volatile world. Yeah, I think the uh, word you mentioned about your employing, employers being your influencer, I think so that's the best thing that em companies can do to enhance the employer brands. Absolutely. Yeah. And also you mentioned that uh, from being 1000 plus to now uh, being 6000 plus, that's really impressive. And with that, I would like to jump into my next question. So what skills do you look for while hiring across functions? technical skills, soft skills, behavior skills, or a combination? Uh, given our growth I, and given the industry we operate in, I, this is a common question that comes our way. So ours is a technology company and over 80% of our people are computer science or electronics graduates. And we are very focused on creating a very good engineering talent team. So one would naturally assume that only technical competence is necessary for the roles you applied for, right? While I, while I certainly do not negate that, we are also aware that the skills of today might not be relevant tomorrow. Uh, for example, we know that at least, at least a good 40% of what skills we require for tomorrow is not there currently with our talent. Uh, research also shows that over 80% of companies have a skill gap either now or will have one tomorrow because the pandemic has actually rapidly accelerated the digital transformation across every industry we operate in. So one of the key components that we look out for, apart from technical competence, which is important for us, is learning and change agility. So what do I mean by that? So if I were to look at learning agility, it is basically the appetite to upskill and reskill, to stay current, to stay relevant. And what I mean by change agility is the ability to deal with change and handle scale. Given, given the growth that we are having, I think that's very important. So simply put, being nimble and agile is a very critical element for us. And then when I look at our managers, when I look at our leaders, I think people agility is very important. What I mean by that is the ability to lead with emotional competence and yet always look at the best way that we can achieve results as a team together. So keeping all of this in mind is how we kind of evaluate our talent depending on which role they have applied for. And um, I'm co I think we have been very successful in this. Yeah, actually, pandemic has uh, given a lot more scopes to other skills as well. Earlier, there has been a more focused on technical skills, but through pandemic, we have also seen that companies are now giving more push towards the learnability and the agility for the candidates. Absolutely. And okay. some of the biggest challenge that they have been facing have been the employee engagement part since the world has all gone to virtual and the normal office interaction has been a limited scope. So with that, I would like to ask you, what is your employee engagement strategy and how it has changed post-pandemic? 
So ever since the pandemic, we have been operating in a hybrid environment, right? So the employee experience to, to us in HR has to be intentional and inclusive for those in office as well as those online. So we realized that we needed to actually think differently as our managers were striving hard and so were our people. Uh, the change was actually instant. It just happened overnight, right? And it was evident that there has never been a more challenging time to be either a manager or an employee. So on both sides, people were facing this shift. So a few things that we did were, and it's very simple. We created awareness amongst our managers and leaders that they need to communicate and stay connected. And this has really made a difference. And our attempts to ensure that we have the right levels of communication across the board has been very deliberate. Uh, the second thing is that we also realized as an HR team that we need to get creative and with collaboration as well as with connection. Uh, what I mean by that is we need to engage our people more frequently and we really need to do that in a much more better way because we were operating in a hybrid world. So we went bold in adopting technology and introduced a new tool that would reach out to our people and help us identify areas that requires uh, immediate attention and also action. So we, we kind of could, using this tool, make out what people's sentiments are, what the team morale is, where exactly is the problem, what is pulling us down, and then look at interventions targeted interventions accordingly. So these were some of the things that we did. And uh, these two, we did it deliberately and with a lot of intention. And I think because of that purpose of ensuring that there is proper communication and there is structured communication, things really worked for us. Um, so that was pretty much our inter, uh, engagement strategy. And we continue to build on it as we speak. We just try and get better every day because our scale is just going up and up. Yeah, exactly. I totally agree with your point about the personalization. I think so that works the best for the engagement. Yes. Thank you so much, Veena, for sharing all those points with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Priya, for having me over. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.